I am excited to be talking about engineering. Uh, Fastenal has a lot of different ways that we can help a supply chain, and engineering is one of them that we wanted to highlight today. Uh, today I have with me Juan and Chris. Uh, Juan, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Hi, uh, my name is Juan Carlos. I'm originally from Brazil. I live here in Monterrey, Mexico. I cover the northeast of Mexico, and my fast now is uh, support the branches on on the engineering side. And as an engineer yourself, your specialty, your area of focus is in what? Well, it's, it's focused on, on fasteners, uh, fasteners in general. Okay. Yeah. Mechanical engineering, is that fair to say? Yeah, uh, I'm a okay. mechanical engineer. OK, good. Uh, Chris, how about yourself? Yeah, my name is Chris Rivard. I uh, work with our, our international engineering team. Uh, I've been with Fastenal uh, a little over 12 years. And um, from that standpoint, I get the great pleasure of working with folks like Juan and uh, our other engineers across the globe. Thank you. Well, guys, uh, I think you know why I have you here, but I'll give a little bit of a uh, entry here. So I heard that Juan had been to a place that was having a trouble with their supply chain. And it was something that you were able to jump in and provide a solution on. They were working with ladders. They were a ladder manufacturer. Can you tell me a little bit about how that came to be? Well, we we were in the process of quoting some some parts to to this to this customer, and they 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 stopped the process because they received a a, a complaint for for a final customer for a, a warranty. So so the the customer uh, engineering side uh, uh, come to me and and ask for for some guidance. And and they realized that they were not using what they they supposed to use for that application. So um, my role was to help guiding the customer to to use the correct product to specify the correct product or or specification to to that product. Chris, is this something that we are commonly doing? Is Fastenal always looking for ways to do this? We are. You know, the, one of the one of the best times for us to get involved is is up front in a design um, and it's it's a sign of a great partnership when we're able to to break through with the uh, with the customers engineers we we always want to be a, a small piece of helping them uh, understand what's readily available and what they can expect out of the fasteners for sure Partnership, uh, you might have seen my head start nodding like a bobblehead there, but I like hearing that word. I keep hearing it. And to me, it sounds like, and maybe Juan, you can touch on this a little bit more. The way that that came about wasn't that you knocked on their door. We were already working with this company. Uh, you just happened to know how to help them. What specifically was it that you were able to help them with? Was it a certain fastener? Was it an application? What are we talking about? Well, the specific for this case, uh, the customer was referencing uh, uh, a quoting thickness that was different uh, uh, of what they expect. They expect some some uh, corrosion resistance, and 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 in the end, they were specifying a different one from what they expect. So so I helped them to check their spec to 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 specify print the correct spec. Excellent. OK, so I think that that kind of leads me into another case that I heard you worked on again. It was the food and beverage one. It was a beer manufacturer or a beer distributor, maybe I should say. Uh, they were working Bottle. to bottler, beer bottler. Thank you. So they were working to uh, fix a problem where they kept having outages on the line. They had to shut down the line, had to shut down the line. What happened in that case? Well, they, uh, I went to give a, a, a customer training. We, we engineers sometimes go to customer side to, to give engineering training. So before doing this training, I, I, I asked the, the engineering manager uh, to, to go to a walk in the line to, to verify. And, and they 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 asked me to to check an application because they normally have some with that application. So 
at the time I went there, I realized that they were using the, the incorrect boat, incorrect rate of the boat uh, for that application. So after the training uh, where I explained that to, to the engineers, uh, uh, I, I mentioned that application and, and they said that's the, the, the reason we, we had so many uh, lines stop in, 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 that, in that point so, or in, the, in that area of the line. So they understand the basic stuff about the fastener. They didn't understand the, the difference between the, the grades. So. And the grades make a big difference. Chris, yes. that seems like an area where Fastenal would be able to help people often. Are these trainings common? They are. Uh, you know, really the goal of of the engineering team is is to be an extension of our customers, either maintenance team or design team. Uh, we, we've kind of covered one from a design team in this set. This one, this example is more with with a maintenance department. Um, in order for us to build those relationships that we want, we have to come and bring value and probably one of the best ways I feel that we can bring value is is educating our customers about some of the fundamental basic stuff about bolted joint design. Um, and that's one of those areas that again, I, I think Juan really excels and in, in exemplifies what we're after. He's able to go line up that meeting walk the line ahead of time and tailor his presentation on very short notice. Um, and I think that's one of the one of the things that makes Juan very successful and very effective with his customers. And, and one of the reasons why he becomes such a go to resource for for his customer base um, is is he's just he's a relationship based engineer first, right? And each of these trainings is if he's going in and taking a look at the line ahead of time, it's custom. He's not just saying some canned piece. Juan, are you actually like on the fly creating each one of these? Uh, Is it something sorry. that you walk into and you don't have 100% of what you're going to say planned? You you have to make sure that it's specific to each individual. Yeah, it depends of the application of the customer. Uh, the, we normally like to go to the customer plan to review the application or, or what is their problem before making suggestions because it depends uh, of the, of the each application will be different so is it it is like custom made for for each customer yeah we i mean we've got some canned content no doubt uh, but the most again the most effective way for us to go is is make it make it make the most impact for our customer is understand what they're what they're going through what's working well for them uh, but we'll, where we really want to focus our time is where are the pain points because if we can take the pain points away from our customers manufacturing process or, or just or or their assembly or production whatever it is um, we've, we've now brought that value that our customers expect so they, what was the I'm sorry what was the big takeaway for the beer bottler what were they able to not have to suffer through anymore? What problem did we solve for them? Well, I, I think the the most important uh, was that all the the maintenance guys. I, I give a training for more than seventy people at that time, and they understand the difference between the grades and the importance of using the correct one. Uh, so I know right now they're going to choose correctly when they're going to uh, make a change in, in a part. Uh, I know they're going to um, make the, the right decision about changing uh, one another. Uh, I think deviations is something that uh, that they're going to think better when they're going to do it. Uh, customers normally get some some deviation wrong. Oh, get a greater grade, uh, a big, a higher grade. Um, uh, because it's better, but not sometimes. Sometimes not the correct decision. So, is there anything that we can say about the fact that these line outages have been reduced, or were they eliminated in some cases? Yeah, yeah. Uh, on that case, I, I know we we helped them to to fix a problem that they they were having for months, and and I know exactly for the for this specific case they they are not having this problem anymore 
Sounds good. What about for the ladder manufacturer? How did we help them there? Well, I, I know we gained the business. I, I know uh, I, I know right now we are, we are the ones that are going to supply the new parts and I know customer uh, is going to to reduce the, the, the problems with the, with his customer of warranties of corrosion or, or any future problems because now he has the spec according to to what he really needs. It's difficult to quantify sometimes uh, right. if you if you can if you feel like you've helped the design in, you know in a way that's going to prevent it from having future issues. Um, and, and I think that's what, what what you're hearing here is we know we helped. We just don't know exactly. It's hard to quantify. We're going to need to let those those products be out in the field for for some time. But we do believe that this is going to help uh, the warranty claim situation that they're they're facing right now. Makes perfect sense. Yep. So uh, I just wanted to stop and say thank you guys. This has been a great conversation. Uh, I think I have one final question for you, Chris. Is this what Fastenal does? For engineering, do we look for ways to help? Yeah, yeah. This is this is what we're about as an organization. Um, we want to get as close to our customers as possible, and you hear that uh, from from many different uh, facets of our business. And we're just one one of those resources um, trying to do the same thing. And and our target customer is our customers' engineering and, and maintenance teams. Perfect. Uh, thank you both for being here today. Juan, Chris, it has been great talking with you. Thank you. Thanks.